what she loves. She finds the love in what she does. With the joy, I introduce Mrs. Sunita Sandosh Kumar from Bangalore. She has been working from 1999 under various streams like building architecture, interior designing, administration, exams for British Council, server CTO engineering, etc. She has also participated in various voluntary programs relating child welfare, women empowerment, and now part of COVID-19 volunteer. She is part of Bangalore City Traffic Police Warden Organization and Civil Defense too. It gives me immense joy to welcome Mrs. Sunita Sandosh Kumar to share her experience as a COVID-19 warrior during the pandemic times. So please, Mrs. Sunita Sandosh Kumar, the floor is open to you. Uh, good morning, everybody. I think I'm audible. Uh, thank you so much for giving me this opportunity, uh, dear brothers of uh, a CRI institution. Uh, I think a lot of insight today. I was so happy to listen to all the speakers today. Where it was so motivating that everybody was talking about only positivity, positivity, spread positivity, love, care, and you know support. Uh, that is the only thing, you know, which I have learned as a volunteer. In fact, I have missed to, you know, inform that I was also a COVID uh, positive patient, recovered. Uh, I think uh, that was the instinct where really, you know, put me to do a volunteering activity. Uh, I was uh, surfing for, uh, you know, doing a volunteering activity where I really wanted to, you know, uh, uh, talk something really positive. Uh, people who are really, you know, uh, having this um, COVID, you know, their pandemic, they are affected with COVID-19. Then I found something called as buddy volunteers. They were the people who are really doing a wonderful job. They were getting the entire data from the BBMP guys where the positive patients are, you know, uh, uh, listed down with their contact numbers. So what our duty as buddy volunteers was only two things. One was volunteer, another was a friend. As a volunteer, I think I just need to do a support of the COVID positive patients, the home isolation. As a telecaller, I used to talk to them as a friend. I used to assist them to know what exactly they need to do while they are in home isolation. It was actually a period of 14 days, a so home quarantine. A home quarantine is really tough because I know, I myself know. Uh, my dad was hospitalized. My husband was hospitalized. Myself, my daughter, my mom, my brother, we were home quarantined. The hospital where my dad was put in did not have the food facility. The hospital where my husband was, he had the entire the CC care, you know, the COVID center care, had the food and everything with them. When I was, you know, hearing from my dad every day telling that, you know, he's, you know, he's getting, you know, every, he was isolated and, you know, he's having new, new patients coming in. Suddenly he sees, you know, there is no one patient who is no more. He was getting panicked. He was really getting panicked. Whenever I was talking to him, he was telling, you know, I'm getting nervous. I'm getting scared. The only thing I told daddy was just be positive. We have to undergo this whole, whole show with a very peace uh, mindset and a positive way to come out of this. And we need to share our experience to many, many more who are, you know, positive affected and, you know, really, you know, go through this kind of a challenge. I thank Buddy Volunteers team who has given me an opportunity to talk to thousands and thousands of patients. I, I, I just used to call them and tell them that, you know, I'm just a friend, you know, in need. That's all. People who are in home isolation, they just require somebody to talk to them just to listen to them what their needs are. 
there are some patients who are really not getting food there were patients who were really not getting calls to talk to them you know i, I was really uh, this particular volunteering stuff was giving me you know really you know an opportunity to talk to hundreds and hundreds of people as a quarantine uh, volunteer a squad i i i think this is what is needed uh that is what is my experience and uh, there were a lot of uh, positive thoughts which were come in from this particular you know webinar webinar or a seminar is nothing but seeding good thoughts and positivity in a few minds the huge people uh, you know attending this seminar would to, would you know really take one or two qualities you know from this webinar this webinar is just nothing but seeding good thoughts and positivity in people's mind and beautifully said un unconditional love care support through our volunteering activity this is what which you know i feel is my spiritual life or you know my way of praying to almighty i would like to end my talks I, i'm not going to take too much of time because i know there are many people who have spoken about a lot of experiences i would just like to conclude my experiences saying that uh, just a small note okay volunteers are needed more and more ever since it was required ever so please be available you know to do some volunteering activities to spend a little bit of your quality time to really people who are in need thank you so much brother prawl for giving me an opportunity to speak here thank you brother edward i think i have just maybe a small thought of seed which i have to, you know i want to put in people's mind is volunteer just volunteer your time time is precious people really need your volunteering time thank you so much brother i just mute myself thank you dear mrs sunita sandosh kumar we express our gratitude and appreciation for your inspiring presentation thank you for being part of the panel sharing now we move to the next panelist